Hi, my name is Said Maliki, and I'm a postdoc researcher at Microsoft Research working in Rice Research Group. In this demo, I will talk about parallelizing dynamic programming algorithms. And now let's see what it's all about. Our world is full of applications which are computationally very expensive. For example, we can simulate the movement of entire galaxies based on the forces between the stars. Or we can forecast weather based on complex interactions of numerous atmospheric factors to see if our sunny day is going to turn out to be a rainy day. Or we can analyze massive DNA sequences to find similarities between two species. All of these applications require a large amount of computation and they are feasible only by having multiple computers working together in parallel. Luckily, parallel computers exist everywhere, ranging from tiny devices such as phones in our pockets to laptops, desktops, and even and to data centers and supercomputers where millions of processors coordinate to perform a single task. However, using parallel computers to speed up one big task is not always easy. Suppose we have two different factories with different functionality. Each of them take a type of food as input and processes it for a while and generates an output. In the next phase, a different type of food come, uh, come into the factories and therefore different outputs are generated. These two factories work independent from each other and therefore they can operate in parallel. Now suppose the input of the orange factory comes from the output of the blue factory. Since the two factories are dependent, the orange factory has to wait until the blue factory is done and only then it can start its operation. This prevents the two factories from operating in parallel. In our research, we deal with this type of dependence in a different way in order to take advantage of parallel hardware. The orange factory can have different type of inputs and consequently it generates different type of outputs. The way we have the orange factory operate in parallel despite the dependencies is to use a special box which represents all the possible inputs. The orange factory processes the special box while blue factory processes its input. The outcome of the blue factory is as before, but the outcome of the orange factory is another box which represents the output for each possible input. Now we know the output of the blue factories, we can immediately find the type of output of the two factories combined. Now to the demo. This story so far was a very simple description of parallelizing algorithm despite dependencies. Let's take a look at a more complex example where we try to find driving direction across the US. Suppose we want to drive from Seattle to Washington DC. The algorithm that computes driving directions operates in stages. At each stage, we find the best driving directions from Seattle to all points in the frontier. This continues stage by stage until we compute our final direction from Seattle to Washington DC. There is a clear dependence here as the algorithm computes stage by stage. So the question is how we can parallelize this computation. We break the dependence by starting from all the cities in a stage in the middle of the country, while at the same time we compute the directions from Seattle to all of these metal cities. And then we can combine the result to find the final driving route. The details of how this parallel algorithm works is in the paper, but to make it feasible, we notice that all of the driving path from the middle cities to the final stage converge to a few highways. This property is common among a lot of other examples which are discussed in the paper. Thank you for watching our demo. Please read our paper for more details and contact us for any question you might have.